Hey guys, it's Phoenix. I've come across a really, really interesting Reddit post. Um, I've been so busy, I've got so many assignments, a lot of readings to do this weekend. That's why I haven't been streaming. And uh, that's why I haven't actually gone through the comments on my last video, which uh, was me thanking everyone for supporting PokeCA and basically showcasing me finishing off the story. But I'll get to those comments very soon. But all that aside, this is based on a Reddit post by KE1234. Uh, it's one of the simplest mechanics I've ever seen. That's why I have just one command block in front of me. This one is just for, you know, for all intents and purposes, just to replace my weapon slot with a snowball. Uh, but that post is so simple. It's probably one of the coolest things I've ever seen in terms of creative mode techniques and tips. And this is one of the things I want to show you. So in here, I have a very simple command. That's all it is. It's nothing uh, really elaborate. It's just execute at E type fireball Tilla, 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 teleport at P, and then tilla, tilla. So this is using the new teleport command. So essentially, it's going to teleport you to that uh, fireball because it's going to execute relative to it. <laughs> okay, first of all, I want to get rid of fireball. <laughs> I tried this out with fireballs, and um, I might, or my, I may or may not just go back to it. But let's change this back to snowball. And the reason why fireball won't work is probably going to be explained to you right now. So as soon as I throw the snowball, I'm basically going to travel with the snowball. How cool is that? And the reason that is the case is because of the new teleport command. Now you're probably arguing that this also works, slash teleport or TP at P at E type snowball. But the reason why this isn't as effective is because this is going to grab the rotation of the snowball. So if I throw the snowball, like so, it's gonna switch my player view, like this. Which is obviously really terrible, and you can't really grab the rotation of the player. So if you want to use this in a mini game, this, in fact, is probably not going to be advised. So let me do this. So go back to the actual command, execute, and then teleport at P. So this is going to execute relative to the snowball, but it's actually just going to maintain the player's rotation. So you don't even need to use this command uh, for you to travel between uh, certain areas of the map while you're creating a map uh, more efficiently. You can also use this in a map. So some sort of PvP game, this is going to be so effective. So again, let me show you what it's really doing. So go to F5 mode, right click the snowball, you're flying and everything is so smooth and you're not going to take any damage. Let me show you this. So game mode S and then using the snowball, you're not going to take any damage. <laughs> How brilliant is that? Because it's teleporting, it's not maintaining your motion. Uh, it's really not using any data because you can't use any data on players. But TP, and it's so smooth and quick that you're not actually going to take any damage when you fall. Now, how do you do this in a multiplayer capacity? Uh, what you need to do is instead use scoreboards. Now, I'm going to make a separate video on this if you want. Make sure to leave a comment, but I really think this is going to be something so groundbreaking uh, that you can definitely apply this to so many new maps. It's really smooth, and it's basically an alternative to flying. Um, and using Elytra. So if you want to keep the player on the ground, but you also want to improve the player's movements along the map, simply use this command and you can basically apply this to so many different conditions and circumstances. Now, I also tried this with fireballs. Definitely don't do it. You're going to take damage. I tried it. You can't ride fireballs. You can, you can actually ride uh, arrows. It's not really smooth either, but the best things I think uh, definitely snowballs and enderpels were used in the reddit post. I feel like snowballs are probably um, safer. <laughs> probably. Anyway, there's also no, um, you know, there's no cooldown. So you can fly as high as you want. Definitely uh, worth it. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe for more creative content. We have so much fun using this and you guys can definitely uh, try this as well. Thanks for watching as always. Take care.